You know, the only way that you'll truly fail at your marketing is to stop trying. It's to give up and you're not going to do that. You're going to do this instead. I'm Yvette Mayer and you're about to discover how the human design gates can help you create more engaging content to grow your business. In each episode, we explore a specific gates, unique frequency as a cosmic content code. Let's dive in. In this episode, we are exploring gate 29 in the human design system. Gate 29 is known as the gate of perseverance. But for marketing, I refer to it as an energy of guided persistence because this energy is actually going to inspire you to persist with your marketing, even if you're having days, weeks, months where you feel like it is falling flat. Persistence is everything, especially when you work with the energy of gate 29. The 29 sits in the sacral. It is a generated gate. So it has a generated flavor to it, the life force energy. And you can trust with the gate 29 that your life force energy is going to guide you towards urges that are important for you to share in your market. Now, while the 29 is a sacral gate, it does connect up through to the G center, which is about purpose and identity. And that's part of the reason why you can trust that this energy is guided, it's purposeful, and how it connects into your higher self to illuminate the path forward. But it's on you to decide to keep going, to persist despite any inevitable challenges along the way. Now we're going to explore the low and the high frequency of gate 29. But before I do that, I want to remind you to stay right to the end of the episode where I'm going to share with you three cosmic content prompts specific to this energy. Now these prompts are particularly relevant when we're transiting through gate 29, which happens around about the third week of August each year. So starting something like the 16th or the 17th of the month, and it's also incredibly relevant for you if you happen to have the 29 in a prime position for marketing in your chart. A couple of these placements are your personality sun, which is all about your personal brand, or your personality Mercury, which gives us a lot of insight into your soul's message and your communication style. The low frequency of gate 29, which I refer to as guided persistence, is about half-heartedness. This is also known as the shadow state through the work of Richard Rudd and the Gene Keys. Half-heartedness, think about this as when you just cannot be bothered. So rather than persevering or persisting, it is a frequency of the quitter, of giving up, of lacking commitment. And this can happen when we get disconnected from our goals, our big vision, our purpose. And we don't want you doing that. Rather than that, we want you leaning into the high frequency of the gate 29, which is commitment, going all in. And this comes from actually having strong intentions from the beginning being clear, doing the work to have crystal clarity about your desires, what you want, what you're creating in the world, what you're in fact communicating, setting your direction and taking action from this place is going to bring the exact right energy for you to succeed. So even though the word is commitment, I also want you to take away from this that this is a high frequency of intentionality. So now let's get into what this means for your marketing and in particular, how you can use this energy to create more resonant, more relevant content in alignment with gate 29. For our first cosmic content prompt for gate 29, guided persistence, it's time to share your vision. Use this frequency to speak into that huge vision of yours, your mission, your movement, Communicate this with your audience and get them on board. Get them buying in to this vision. And not only will they join you for the ride, but they will share in the commitment you have for your vision. Our second cosmic content prompt for Gate 29, Guided Persistence, is about the word persistence and actually speaking into when you've had a difficult time, maybe a breakdown, 
before a big breakthrough. This brings to mind the meme of the man inside the diamond mine mining for gold who gives up just before breaking through to the other side where somebody else comes along in the same mine and discovers that just beyond his limit, maybe it was his upper limit, was the diamonds. This is the kind of story I want you to tell in the energy of gate 29 to give others the inspiration to keep going when things feel challenging and trust that if they persist with what is right for them, it will not pass them by. And our third cosmic content prompt is about avoiding burnout. Now I talked about this being a sacral gate and that means it has a lot of energy to it. However, when we go too hard, when we burn too brightly, we can run into burnout. So this prompt is about balancing out a really strong commitment for something like your goal or your vision without burning out along the way. How have you done this? Or how do you recommend your audience do? And this is relevant for any niche because it's always a good idea to balance out our effort towards focusing on our goals with self-care. I can't wait to see you out there using these cosmic content prompts. Now, did you know you can now get your hands on the entire 64 gates as 64 cosmic content codes? A deep dive into each of these gates energies so you can nerd out on all of the gates in your chart and their essence and influence on your marketing. Go to the description now and you'll find the link for your 64 Cosmic Content Codes Guide.